In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up shipping and sales tax on Google Merchant Center. Hey guys, it's Dustin with ClicksGeek here. Before we get started, if you can please click the thumbs up below, I would greatly appreciate that. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more great content. Okay, so now that we have set up our account, we have verified our website. We're going to move on to setting up shipping and the taxes. After this, the next video that we're going to do will be adding products uh, from your store to Google Merchant Center. All right, let's dive in. So we're going to click continue here now that we have claimed the site and we're just going to move directly into uh, setting up the shipping. So in here, we're going to focus just on delivery locations being customer addresses. Okay. So we're going to click, uh, this is selected. So we're going to click next. Okay. And then we are going to use delivery times based on the carrier partner. This will allow us to use the pricing, the time frame, and all that that's based on FedEx, UPS, USPS, instead of having to navigate through those things, we're not going to do custom delivery times or ranges and like that pricing. We're just going to use the carrier based settings here. So we're going to click that. And then next it says show custom delivery times based on, and then we're going to use carrier and shipping location, as I mentioned. So we're going to select that and then it's going to load this. And then we need to set a shipping location, like where we're shipping from. So we're just going to use for this example. This is just a test example. So what we're going to do is we're going to just click here and then we are going to add a new shipping location. Okay. And then we will click save. Okay. And then here we can select the carriers that we're going to be using for this example, you can select every carrier on here that you plan on using to ship for your customers. I'm just going to use FedEx ground. Uh, you would select as many as relevant to your store and then click save. And then you're going to go down here and click next. This section here allows you to set up your, your shipping. You can do more of your free shipping. If you're going to do all free shipping and then you're covering the shipping, or you can just do the shipping rates defined by the carrier, which is why I chose this option. What this is going to do is automatically update the shipping prices as they increase or decrease. This also gives us the option to set a percentage adjustment or a flat rate. We can add on top of that. Okay. And then our postcode, this is where we would be shipping from so that it can calculate the shipping cost. So we're going to leave that in there and we're going to click save and go next. Okay. So that is set up. The next thing we're going to do is set up our taxes. Because we're shipping out of Pennsylvania in this test situation, we are going to need to collect sales tax for customers who are purchasing in Pennsylvania. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually use the Google determined sales tax, which is automatic setup, or we do have the option to do a custom sales tax, which you could just drop right in there. If that's, if that makes sense for you. But for this example, we're just going to do the Google determined sales tax and that will be automated. And then we're going to click save here. Then it's going to move into other states. If we're going to ship from other states that we need to collect sales tax in from here, we would select those states that are relevant for this example. We're only shipping from Pennsylvania. We would only select Pennsylvania and that's how it works. So if you have other states, you would just literally click that on and then move forward from there. Okay. So now that we've done that, we're going to click continue. And we are done. We have our shipping and sales tax prepped, and we are ready to add our first product. If you're interested in having our company manage your e-commerce marketing, please reach out to us by using the application link that's just down in the description below this video. We'll look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a wonderful day. Also, be sure to watch the next video where we're going to move into adding the products into Google Merchant Center. And then from there, we'll move on into the final review.